Hi there, welcome to the channel and welcome to the next episode in this tutorial series. This one's called Advanced Torpedoes. Now in this one my aim is to get you to use the activation timers more effectively. I've done a bit of research into this one, mainly to figure out the torpedo, um, the torpedo speed. I'm just going to pause it so nothing ruins the game while I'm saying this. Um, there's a guy in the comments who told me the other day the the speed of the torpedo and I've, I've kind of worked it out and then I've just nipped onto Discord to check with him that uh, it's correct and everything and he said yeah that's what he's found out it could depend on current I believe and things like that so just keep that in mind this is more of a rough speed guide than you know this is actually what it, it travels at so it's been hard to um to pin down completely um, I just wanted to give you that little bit of warning there while we do this um, so the aim is to hit this target here from here I'm gonna work out the distance and go through all that um, I'm also using the UI enhancer mod I've got a video for that if you've not seen it it's just been updated today I think um, so I can measure distance on the hollow map you can do it through the vehicle vehicle controls as well which I'll show you once I launch the torpedo so I'm not worried about this target moving um, yeah so let's get to it so first off, I'm gonna get the um, I'm gonna get the distance. So now, if I do the distance here, it's gonna activate as soon as it hits the target. So I'm gonna do it something like here. So let's just say six thousand meters. I'm just gonna write this down. So distance equals six thousand meters, and then the speed of the torpedo is I think. Let me just make sure I've got the most accurate information here. Uh, Forty-three meters per second so we'll go with 43 okay now let me just get my calculator out to work this out uh, so this speed is 43 the time it's going to take is 6000 divided by 43 equals 139.5 so we'll just go with 139 the bearing to the target is around 264 so 264 and activation is 139 and uh, let's put it to 140 that should be close enough load the torpedoes on the right because it's mainly facing my right side okay fire one fire two torpedoes are away so yeah if you need to work out the distance you can go here and I'm not sure if this is available without the mod but I can just hold down on my carrier drag and I can work out the distance there and the bearing if that doesn't work you could just deploy something get the distance and do it like that but I'm pretty sure that works without a mod uh, the other thing I've currently just asked in discord as well I don't know if there's an answer to this Let's have a look. Um, trying to figure out whether they have an activation cone or a radius. And the consensus seems to be it's a cone. Now I'm not sure what the, uh, what, how many degrees the arc is of that, but apparently it is a cone. But yeah, it's just, it, you know, we're trying to figure out this information ourselves. Please look in the description, because if I get any more information or anything like that, I'll put it in there. So if there's anything that I found out after this video, I'll put in the description. I hope that's not too ambiguous for you. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll just put a cut in the video, and we'll come back when we're a little bit closer. Okay, so we're coming up to activation time here. It should be around there. I've kind of guessed this because my carrier's drifted a little bit. Hopefully, these will activate now. Yep, I see. I seem to detect some movement there. So I think they have. So it's nice having that little bit of extra to work with because if I activate here and it moves, then I'm screwed. There we go. Brilliant. So that's uh, that's worked. That's always good for a tutorial, isn't it? So yeah, the speed I'm going with is 43. If you if you think that's different, put it in the comments. 
Um, currents could affect it. I don't think wind affects it, but currents could affect it. Um, yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for the support. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.